What's up guys, Dan from SpareTireRunning.com coming at you on a Saturday, um, day something. Um, I don't even know what day it is. Uh, to tell you the truth, um, I've been working all day on a, a, a paper for my doctoral classes. Um, and I have another one due next week. My finals due next week. So um, I'm pretty busy right now, So, but I did find time to uh, get to the gym get a light workout on my back and then uh, an hour on the uh, treadmill it was pretty nice out today um, I wanted you know go out um, the course that trail I really want to try um, it was nothing but mud and I I love my shoes too much right now to uh, to get the money now really I just didn't want to get them muddy and have to clean them because um, I have a one week to race day um, and I don't know I was just being lazy I guess but uh, uh, this kind of goes into the future of you know races starting with next week and uh, PRs and stuff and and as much as I would love getting PRs, I I don't really care anymore. I used to. The last few years, I was really like, especially in the 5K, I really wanted to. Uh, I know this sounds like oh you're so s slow, but for a big guy like me. Uh, um, I wanted to break the 30 and, and I just couldn't do it. Got close and one one race last year that I was on fire, if you remember, was the summer solstice race in Southfield and um and they marked the course wrong and 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 everything was uh de back buckle. Um that I was uh I was on fire that night. Um and I I've been close other times but um I don't care anymore. I mean, if I get it, awesome. I'll celebrate it no, completely. Um, but I just want to keep on uh, pushing my body to those farther distances. Um, that's what I'm more concerned about. Um, although the only thing with that is I do need to work on speed still and work on trying to get faster uh, because of cutoff times. Um, so some of the races have... Uh, cutoffs you have to be at a certain spot I actually have one of those um, kind of a cutoff time uh, coming up and one of my 10 mile races I have to be at mile 6 I think it is by a specific time um, otherwise not that they're gonna not let you run anymore um, but the road that you're on is going to be back open to the public they're going to open it up to the back to the public so you have to uh, kind of run on the sidewalks and um, and follow uh, the traffic laws and so forth um, so I'm kind of nervous about that actually um, I think I can do it. it I think as long as I'm not injured or, or have a bad day I could probably stay within the time frame but that that's it's going to be my first challenge and see if I can do that um, but I'm looking forward to it looking forward to the season even though I don't know if I'm ready yet um, we got a little one week and one day a week from tomorrow is that first race um, my wife was asking well why are you doing um, like the 15k because it's a 5, 10k and then right immediately 5k the first thing and I said well they give you two medals why not plus I need to keep working and pushing my body to these uh, farther distances and and so forth um, these are it's going, it's going to help it's going to it's going to aid in in getting to where I want to go. All right, I babbled long enough. Time to go eat some dinner. Um, my wife is making something. I don't remember what she said, but anytime my wife makes dinner, it's a good day. So, run hard, guys. Later. <laughs>